Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode here on the Talk Daily. My name is Eddie, and today we're going to be talking about pillars. Yay, the pillars that you get in your car. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm using this beautifully demonstrated picture I'm getting from Edmunds.com to describe my point. Now, every vehicle has pillars. If your vehicle does not have any pillar, you're driving probably a vehicle that's not DOT approved, and it's probably a kit car. It's probably awesome right to drive, but you can have that, right? Because modern car needs safety, rollover, protective, you know, be have some protection from rollover from, you know, major accidents. So and speaking of rollover, that's what these pillars are their job is. You have the A pillar, the B pillar, the C pillar, as in the sedan version. And then you have if you have a people carrier or a van, you have a D pillar which is all the way in the back. And the purpose of these is obviously to protect uh, the occupant from in case, well, the obvious thing will be like a rollover so the car doesn't pancake with you inside of it because the survivable space in there will be reduced to half. And then that's your brain and your spine getting crushed. So that's why you need these also from a side impact situation and from whatever angle it's meant to keep that volume that, that survival volume, survival that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, meant to keep that space inside all safe, so you know you survive from getting hit. But what's my grief with it? Uh, the only grief I have, mind you, this you know all these things house airbags and you know have a life saving uh, uh, components uh, to keep you alive. Uh, but only my grief that I have is that the A pillar is getting just fatter and fatter and fatter. Mind you, yes, cars are getting heavy. You know, even future cars are going to be heavier than today. And we're talking about electric cars. We're talking about, you know, you know, internal combustion engine, electric cars, what have you, right? Because most vehicles, are the weight is on the bottom, right? I mean, electric cars say, oh, our weight is all the way in the bottom, you know, under the, ground, under the car and whatnot. The batteries are down low, whatever. Bottom line, now take that car and flip it upside down. Well, once you flip it upside down, uh, those pillars, their job is just to hold that, all that weight and keep you alive. And mind you, the roof is really thin. Most cars, their roof is thin because, you know, why put a lot of mass on top of your car? Now, these, so these, player, these pillars are engineering wonder. Uh, of course, crash safety, every vehicle is different. You can Google how cars get smashed. It's very interesting when the National Highway Transportation... You know, I think when the insurance company, whatever they do, the whole like they take a car and they ram it into a, some stationary object or take two cars, smack them together or whatever. I don't think they do the two cars. I think they do one car into a barrier or something. But anyways, you get to see how these pillars deform and the more they deform, the less rating they get. So they're structurally extremely important. My only grief is from a car, from a. My only grief is as a driver, you know, when you're taking really tight turns, let's say in a sedan. And uh, this A pillar extends so far outward, and I'm going to use this uh, van as an example. A lot of modern cars have this triangle of glass that I really don't like right, you know, in front of the side mirror. And what that does, it pushes the A pillar even further out, and it gives you that sense of volume. And I'm looking at the Civic, I'm looking at the Corolla, I'm looking at a lot of cars that have that. And I'm not a big fan of it. That's my only grief because what it does, it really blocks your vision. If you're taking really a tight turn, you can't really see where you're going. Now, obviously drive slowly, don't do anything reckless, but how about if the fact that you are at some Jimmy Connor event, you're doing some autocross and I can't see the cone <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. Now, is that a valid complaint? No, of course not, but I understand, you know, structural engineer whatnot they design it that way because the firewall gets pushed back because the engine keeps getting pushed back because they're trying to give you this space inside right you don't want to make the car even bigger inside because you no longer have two or three cars maybe in the household right you just want one vehicle that does everything you know picks up the children picks the groceries fits four people five whatnot so i understand that so that's the only reason i'm just bringing it up i miss the older cars i miss the two-door specialty car i mean if you look at a GR Corolla, it's there's very few left. GR Corolla, Miata. Help me out here. I don't know what other two-door cars, modern two-door cars you can get. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But I mean, oh yeah, the, uh, obviously the BM series, you know, the M4. You know, but uh, beside that, um, and Mercedes. Yeah, they still make two-door cars, yeah. So, um, 
But yeah, I mean, the apiler is getting bigger. Even those cars, when you get in them, you notice that the apiler occupies a large chunk of the, you know, space in front of you. But uh, I do miss a smaller apiler. That's all. That's what I'm trying to say. I miss a smaller apiler. I know that newer cars are heavy and those new apilers do have airbags in them and a life-saving, they're alive, there's a life-saving device in it. Uh, I'm not saying that I want to reduce the level of safety, but it'll be nice if, some new modern car that's focused on performance gives you somehow makes the apiler not so intrusive. And um, if you're wondering what vehicle I drove that had an intrusive apiler, that was the Corolla. But I drove it on right hand drive and I was somewhere in, up in the canyon, somewhere in Japan. So I honestly, at some point, I don't know what I'm going. I'm turning the wheel and I had to stick my head outside. Well, I can stick my head outside to the right, but uh, no, yeah, yeah. I did was sticking my head to the right and I'm kind of looking like, what am I going? Or I stick my head to the left, closer to the passenger, trying to see and put my head in the middle, like a McLaren. <laughs> and you're trying to be in the middle of the car, just kind of see where you're going. Um, yeah, I think the Apeler is just getting kind of big, especially for sport cars. I don't see, uh, you know, having that triangle glass there. I'm not a big fan. That big dash that stretches out. I, th I think Honda's the first one who did that with the K-Series engine. I'm, you know, the Civics. I'm not a big fan of that. I just wish. Um, but again, you know, uh, who knows what newer cars would look like. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's it. So let me know what you think. You think this is a grief? You learned something? Let me know. I mean, you think this is a griefing point? You probably look at it and say, ah, it's not a big deal. It doesn't bother me. Or you might say, oh, yeah, now you mentioned it. Now I notice the Apeler is in the way. Or maybe oh, you live somewhere. You know, maybe in the Midwest somewhere and we're just a straight line all the way. And you're like, I don't, I don't care about my A-pillar. I, I mean, I never looked at the right. The street is always straight. Well, that's nice. So uh, anyways, uh, let me know what you think in, in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the A-pillar, B-pillar, C-pillar, and the D-pillar. Uh, mind you, C-pillar also is getting fatter, but we have rear view cameras. So if people complain about blind spot, there's a technology to assist with that. And maybe it'll be the answer for the April, or maybe they'll put some cameras pointing. Well, right now they do have it, but uh, maybe you just look through that and you can just drive through the camera. You don't even need to look through what you're going. That would be, uh, that'll be something, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so uh, the deep pillar, honestly, on vans, if you look at the crash testing, they're kind of scary. I wouldn't want to be sitting there. Yeah, as much as I trust, I you're so close here. I, I, it's just scary for me to look at. If you're sitting in the back here, Imagine between you, there's like two inches. I don't know. Mm -mm. You get hit from there. I don't care what the deep pillar, what airbags you got in there. I don't give a damn. The space is very minimum, very minimum space. So be safe. Be safe while you are driving. Be always safe. You know, you never know. Anyway. So anyway, as always, uh, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.